So here we are in the 2021 RG1300C, running a Viper 4 monitor, and this is the startup sequence. So I've just hit the key and turned it on, and the machine's been running for, for a couple minutes um, just to let the ISO bus and all the computers uh, hook up on it. So now we're going to go uh, into the into the spray sequence. So the first thing we do is agree to this. And then we'll also go into the this button here, this universal terminal. And we'll accept the liability for the auto steer. And then once we're in here, uh, we can go to the rate control screen. So it's showing that uh, what what rate and pressure we want. And uh, right now, the pressure is at zero, which means the pump is not on. So the next steps then are over here on the on the monitor on the sprayer. So we see in the top left-hand corner is our is our tank volume. Uh, right now it's 930 gallons. There's a there's a float in the tank which tells the operator how much product is in it. Um, and then this is the the sparge valve um, that is set. Uh, set uh, automatically as the tank drops and we're going to show you how to turn that on so touch the top left corner and that expands the screen and then right here is this little icon that also matches there that's a spark adjuster so we'll touch that we want to make sure that it's set to auto so see how it's gray is off uh, yellow is on so Right now the minimum sparge is 15% and the max is 60% and it will automatically shut off at 100 gallons and um, to zero. So right now it's at 38% uh, so which just keeps the chemical agitated. So now we'll cycle again this top left button and now we can choose um, our boom height because we've got to turn the booms on, boom height on, which is UC7 so touch that and the check mark and now we agree to take any liability on check mark and we get the A button and now uh, the blue light is set automatically so on this sprayer here um, if we happen to get to the edge of the field we want to lift the boom heights up manually so we do that by hitting that button to reset the system you see how it's it's uh, off now to reset the system we double click on the center rack so double click boom goes back down to where it was. So that's the boom height. So you can double click on that again. Now click on that again and go back to the sprayer screen. Check mark. And um, if you hit the back arrow here, it takes you back to this screen here. On the top right hand screen now, we have our cruise control speeds. So uh, we're going on the field, we're going 14 miles an hour, which is this button here. It sees one and two. And uh, this button here, or this uh, speed is nine miles an hour, which is the second button there. Okay, now we're ready to turn the pump on. So there's four switches you have to have on. You have to have the bottom of the tank valve open, and the pump, and you have to have the recirculation system working, as well as the, uh, the pressure out to the booms. You have to go over here and turn turn the pump on there. So now we've got uh, 58 psi on the pump, uh, 45 psi on the boom tips, which agrees with that up there. So a couple other features: um, this button here is automatic, so you want to have that on when you're spraying because that adjusts the engine RPM to the load. This button here is the master switch, master on off. This is your auto steer resume, and uh, that's your cruise control speed that you can set. After that, it's the same as the the uh, older A series sprayers. This helps uh, everyone get used to this sprayer.